what's up guys welcome back to my channel if this look looks familiar to you it's because i'm power filming <laughs> um like i mentioned in the video that i filmed prior to this i will not be giving makeup details because y'all are gonna have to stick around for the video you keep asking for makeup videos so i'm giving you makeup videos you can't say i'll uh, listen to y'all so um a couple of weeks ago i got a comment saying brie you be holding out on us and i'm like what you talking about and she like well, you be talking about you have all these fire-ass combos, but why can't we get a whole video just about your fire-ass combos? And I was like, I mean, I can do that. <laughs> so today is all about my favorite combos, my deep wave, fresh out of the pack combos. Many of these are OG, old, faithful combos, and some of these are new to me as well. Um, So... I say let's get right into it. Might want to get a snack. Make sure you have a glass of wine with you. Um, and let's just get right into it. Like, why not just go ahead and start with what is in my hair? So this is a combo that is new to me. And it was a suggestion from my boo, Xavier, the great Xavier here on YouTube. That is my boo. That is my rider. Xavier be coming through for me in so many different ways. Xavier keeps me grounded and lifted here in this YouTube space. I love him. So he used this combo the other day and I've had both of these for a while. One I'm really trying to finish up and was trying to find some other things to use with it. And I said, well, let me try it. And that is the Sultanicals Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner paired with the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. That is what is in my hair today, and I mean, y'all. Now, I did end up banding my hair for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, and the only reason I did that was because I forgot how hard Kinky Curly dries. <laughs> I really did. I forgot how hard Kinky Curly dries, and I was like, well, if I band it, it'll probably soften it up just enough so I still have some hold for the days ahead, but it would still be soft enough for me to kind of fluff it and make it do what it do today. But y'all see how defined and shiny my curls are. I love the Frizz Wiz Leave-In Conditioner. It is so moisturizing, um, it's softening, and it immediately starts to add extra definition to my curls. It gives me great slip. And the Kinky Curly is an OG. This is one of this is the first styling product I used on my channel. If you go all the way back to the beginning of the Third Eye Angel, I used this with the Shea Moisture JBCO Leave-In Conditioner. And that used to be my tried and true combo. But then they started playing around with the formula. Shea Moisture was just, they had a new formula for every product like every month. And it, it just got to the point where I was like, I don't want to have to keep trying to figure out if your products are going to work for me or not. Like, I don't. I don't. So I stopped using them. And because Kinky Curly is so hard to pair, I had just subsequently stopped using her too. I had initially picked this up because I was going to do a classic combos video with the leave-in conditioner. And trying to get that leave-in conditioner, y'all, has been like hell on earth. I don't know why. It just has. So I, I guess the universe is trying to tell me y'all need that. And I was like, okay, whatever. So when Xavier told me that he had tried this, I was hyped because I have been on a mission to finish this leave-in. Like, I need so little of it, and so it's taken me forever to get through it. And every time I think, oh, like, I'm finally going to empty it, I'm like, well, shit, I got, like, three uses left. So I've been trying to find other things to use it with, and y'all, this combo is everything. Moisture, slip, definition, on point. So I'm really happy that Xavier suggested this combo to me. It's everything. It's life. I love it. I'm definitely going to be using this combo a lot more. And this may be my replacement combo for my old faithful Shea Moisture and Kinky Curly combo. Because this pretty much gives me, it gives me every, everything I liked about that combo. But I feel like my curls look even better than they did with that combo all those years ago. So Kinky Curly and Sultanicals Frizz Wiz. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. All right, so before I put my frizz whiz away, I do have another combo 
that I love <laughs> with Sultanicals using Frizzwiz leave-in conditioner. And that is a combination of my Frizzwiz curl defining leave-in with my Sprung coil boosting jelly. I do have a video using both of these. If I can find it, I will link it in the cards above or y'all can just type in my name and Sultanicals and that video should come up where I'm using these two. These mix so perfectly. Y'all already know I love this leave-in, but the Sprung Coil Boosting Jelly is just unlike anything else that I own. It is kind of like a cream gel. It is very thick. So you can see it's very thick, very creamy, but this has really great slip. This is one of those products where I do consistently need to add water. Um, just because it really clumps the curls. This product clumps my curls together like crazy. But for me, even though it clumps my curls together, it kind of brings a little weight to them as well. So it kind of gives you that downturned wash and go effect. When I go to scrunch my hair out, at first I'm like, damn, my hair about to be crunchy and unmoving. She's about to be stiff, but nope. It gives the most beautiful deep wave fresh out the pack fluffy, soft, moisturized wash and go. And what I love about this is that even though my hair is soft, even though the cast breaks away so easily, I can still wear this for days at a time. Um, I can get about four or five days out of this wash and go if I need to. Um, I wore this to work the other day, these two products together, and it lasted so well with everything that I had going on. I had a couple of days where I was standing outside in the cold for my entire shift. And my hair was not dry. Um, my hair was rubbing against my sweater and my hair wasn't snagging. It was just beautifully moisturized, defined, soft, and just popping. So I absolutely love these two together. I get a lot of compliments too when I have these two products in my hair um, because it just gives my hair that really velvety, like plush effect. Like if, if hair were a cashmere sweater, it would be this combo. What is it with me and cashmere sweaters? I feel like I use that analogy a lot, but just, just go with it. Y'all y'all understand. Next up, I have another one that's new to me, and I'm going to be featuring this in a video soon. I wonder if y'all can guess what kind of video it's going to be when you see these two products, but I think y'all will enjoy it. I think y'all will enjoy it. So I came across this combo recently, and I really haven't used these two lately because I thought that I couldn't get them anymore but Miss Valentia popped up and said let me bless y'all she knew she heard my cry she heard my please my fellow Indo warrior she knew she knew this is the Melba's kitchen collection edition to you the hair stuffing decadent daily moisturizer with the coconut and apple curl glaze now y'all know I was in shock when I use these two products. First of all, this moisturizer is, it's so creamy, but it can definitely be used as a leave-in conditioner. I used it as a leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. It has this yummy cinnamon, like a cinnamon bread smell. Oh, it's so good. So this smooths through the hair so beautifully. You don't need a lot of it to coat your strands. I absolutely love this. And then when you add the coconut and apple curl glaze, listen, if you want to walk around looking like a glazed donut, you need this. This stuff, first of all, I thought I was going to have to use a lot of it. I did not. <laughs> that is the texture of this product. This has beautiful slit. It smooths through the curls like a dream. And these shine, y'all. When I added this to my hair, my hair looked like the little curly clippings that people be trying to get me to promote on my videos. That's what it looked like. It, it, it looked like literal deep wave fresh out of the pack. It was so beautiful. This can last for days. Like the only reason when I did the review that I didn't let it go for days was because I was trying to review as many products from the box as I possibly could. Um, so I ended up like doing a braid out on dirty hair when day three came around. I'll link that video above as well if y'all want to see it. Um, but this is so good. The combination of these two together, it's moisture, it's definition, 
it's shine, it's bounce, it's volume. Like I just, these two, if you did not get your hands on these when she brought them back out, because I bought two more of this because I need this in my life. So those are sitting there unopened, waiting for me to finish her. And when I do finish her, it'll be right, right back on. I do like that when it comes to the Melba's Kitchen, Valencia does understand that those are some of our favorite products that she offers. And so she does bring them back periodically so that we can still indulge in our fave, right? Because she does her thing with those Melba's Kitchen boxes. Like it, I didn't... I didn't have really a single complaint with that whole thing. Like the whole box was just beautiful. So <clears throat> I only have two out of the three products in this combo because I'm pretty sure I finished off one of them and I need to open up another bottle and I didn't feel like getting it. But that is my Eden Body Works and Eco Combo. Now you guys know I love the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Collection. I like to lay, lay down the serum I will add the therapy leave-in on top of the serum, and then I'll go in with my favorite gel. Now, this works for me with pretty much anything, right? But I mostly use that combo when I'm using a thicker gel, like an Eco Styler. Um, it works well with wet line. It was the best combo with my wet line that I had had, and I tried wet line with a lot of things. Um, it also works really, really well with um, the Eco Slay Gel, any gel that's like that, that thicker gel consistency that you can easily find at like a drugstore or something, um, it works with that, especially for fine hair because if you have fine hair, you know, sometimes you have to adjust your combo to get the look that you're going for. My personal favorite Eco is the Eco Gold. So I'm still working through this container. I'm about halfway through it. I haven't had it open for long though. Um... I haven't used my Eco as much this year, just because I've been testing out so many new things. But this still stands as my favorite Eco. I also am a huge fan of the Cannabis Sativa Oil one. That one is a beautiful formula as well, very moisturizing. Um, it just, I don't know, it just kind of makes your hair feel thicker for some reason, it's weird. But I love using my Eden Body Works Serum and Therapy Leave-In underneath this. I do have a video on it. This is another one of my most complimented wash and goes. It's just a staple in my routine. It's one of those wash and goes where like if I am just in a rut and I don't know what I want to use, I pull that out because I know it's going to work. I know it's going to last. Um, I still can maintain moisture with it. My hair is always so happy with it. So that is one of my favorite combos. I think it's probably going to be one of my favorite combos for life unless something comes in and like beats it out. But that one is dope. Definitely deep wave, fresh out the pack worthy. Let's talk about some main choice combos because obviously I love using my main product, my main choice products with each other. Like <laughs> they work really, really well with each other. But I also like to come up with my own product combos. You know, who, what natural doesn't do that, right? You know, like I like to see how the brand builds on each other with their collections, but I like to mix and match as well. And let me use this one in the place of the usual leave-in I use. So I've been talking about this combo for a while. This is like Deep Wave, Fresh Out the Pack, Ultimate Goals, right? So I love to lay down a layer of one of my lightweight She Scented Leave-In Conditioners. I typically use the Marula Mallow, but I also like to use the Cocoa Creme Leave-In Conditioner as well. Pretty much works the same for me in this combo, but typically I like to use my Marula Mallow because there's just something about it, the softening properties compared to this one. But she's going to be the placeholder for that. And then I go on with a light layer of a cream. My absolute still favorite one is the Royal Honey and Argan Buttercream. I've still been working through this, but I prefer to use this in the fall and winter months. I'll use it every now and then in the summertime if it's not super, super hot. But this is a lightweight, fluffy cream. And I love the moisture that this paired with the leave-in conditioner brings to my hair. And then to set it all off, to set off the definition, just the juice, the, the juice, the drip... Main Choice Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. This stuff is so, so good. Now, for me, I know a lot of people say that um, this in particular makes their hair sticky. For me, stickiness with this depends on what I pair it with. If I'm using something that's 
way too moisturizing to be underneath this because this has a lot of moisture on its own then it will dry sticky I feel like it never dries completely but with these two what I love about using my she scented leave-in conditioners and creams underneath this is that I get really great moisture without that sticky feeling for me that's important like I don't want my hair to feel sticky I don't want it to feel gross especially because a lot of times my hair will hang down in my face and if my hair is sticky and it's touching my face, I don't know. She's getting washed out the next day. Y'all know what Pearly Braid Out Glaze looks like. It literally is a glaze. And the combination of these two, I know I have a couple different videos where I use this combo or similar combos, just plugging in different She Scented or Curl Origin creams. Um, but regardless of the She Scented leave-in and cream paired with this, it's always beautiful. It's always deep wave, fresh out the pack, realness. So if you have not tried this combo, I suggest getting the Marula Mallow and this to start with, the Royal Honey and Argan Buttercream, and then using it underneath this, y'all. You can't tell me it's not wash and go realness. It's so good. Next up is a combo that I used so much last year. <laughs> I use this combo so much and I had actually filmed a small Instagram tutorial using this and I lost the footage so I may have to redo that this year but y'all already know the Ajwa Bailment Leave-In Conditioning Styler has become one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. I'm over halfway through it and y'all know that is that's a big deal for me. <laughs> it's a huge deal for me to be halfway through a leave-in conditioner in less than a year so i absolutely love this leave-in it's amazing during the fall and winter months i really kind of didn't really mess with my ajwa during the summer even though i wanted to use their gel during the summer but i had that realization of there's a lot of oils in it and i just realized it would probably be better suited for fall time so i am going to be doing some fall videos with ajwa soon but i love using this underneath bay and y'all know who they is bow buttery gel um, so many of you guys said that you were put on the bold buttery gel because I wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> it's so good. Cheers gelato was great. I love my pearly braid out glaze. Ancient Egyptian is cool, but bold buttery gel is just life. The texture, and I'm telling y'all, I'm I just know it's that black cumin seed oil. I mean, look, listen. Courtney can do whatever the hell she want to do, but if she ever changes this, then I'm just going to have to bounce because this is my love. It's my bae. Um, these two together work wonders. I love this with its companion leave-in as well, but there's just something about the way these two work together. Sometimes you just find combos that you're just like, you don't know why, but you have to have it. You have to put them together, even though they shouldn't be together. They just work. So, Ajwa and the Main Choice. This is one of my favorite combos, especially for the colder months. I can't get enough. I just can't get enough. And honestly, when I wash this out, well, no, I have some other things I need to film for y'all. But I'm going to be putting it in my hair soon because I love that combo. <laughs> so, the next one is new. I recently discovered this. So, you guys know I bought a bunch of curl junkie stuff for Black Friday. And the leave-in that I got to go with those products was not good. <laughs> and so I've kind of been sitting on them because I do want to do a comprehensive review of Curl Junkie. Um, and I can't do that if I'm using other leave-ins with them. But the Hero product for that review that I did at the beginning of the year was the Pattern Pusher Hair Styling Gel. I really enjoyed this. It's a really nice botanical gel. And it's great if you like that um, your curls with better situation. So I try, I've been trying different combos just to see what I liked with this. And something just told me one day, try this with it. And y'all, it was the most angelic wash and go of life. And that is the Melanin Multi-Use Leave-In Conditioner. I'm like halfway through this too, y'all. This is really good. I feel like I don't rave about this enough. Maybe because so many people do it for me. But these two together, y'all... I put these in my hair right before I got my hair trimmed 
because I just wanted something that was going to give me a lot of slip. My hair was kind of snagging. She, my hair was like, bitch, if you don't go get your ends trimmed, we gonna fight. Like, I'm pretty sure my curls were going to wrap around my neck and strangle me if I didn't go get a trim. So I put these two together because I knew that this was softening and I knew it had great slip. And I remember this having really good slip too, y'all. Let me know if you want a video because I haven't done a video with these two, but I will do one because the combo of these two was so good. When I tell you my hair was so soft and moisturized, but the thing that I loved was that the definition still held for days. It was beautiful. Even my stylist was like, girl, what is in your hair? Your hair feels really good. I was like, <laughs> so good. So I absolutely love these two products together. I've never heard anyone talk about putting the two of these together. I feel like people don't rave about Pattern Pusher like they used to. It's one of those products where you really have to be, I feel like you have to be really comfortable with your curl pattern. Um, because if you do not like your hair type, then you're not going to like what this does because it leaves it and it leaves your hair type where it is. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't do a bunch of extra enhancing. This isn't overly glossy, but these two together was beautiful. So if you would like me to do a video showing you guys how that wash and go looks, then let me know because it is stunning. Let's finish up in the She Sent It category because y'all know She Sent It brings me some of my best wash days. It gives me the most compliments. I will never stop talking about She Sent It because She Sent It is bae. So we will start with the original combo that started it all for me with She Sent It. And that is the pomegranate and pear oil and gel hair pudding and moisture milk. I love these two so much. These are actually fresh. I have not opened them yet um, because I wanted to wait until it got a little bit colder. Even though this do be popping in the summertime. And it, when it swells in the summer, it's really beautiful. But I have been in love with this combo since I started using She Sent It. I will never stop raving about this. Um, it's just bae. It's just bae. And people still be asking me, how do you use the oil and gel hair pudding? With the product they made it to go with? That's how I use it. And it never failed me. So um, anytime I hear a lot of complaints about this, I'm like, oh, well, what did you use with it? And people name like five other leave-ins. And I'm like, I be telling y'all she works with her leave-in. This is one of those products, it's selfish. It wants to work with its companion. It does. And every time I put these two together, it's just amazing. Shiny, just velvety curls. It makes my hair soft. It gives me definition. It gives me volume, which I love. And it's never a fail for me. So I absolutely love pomegranate pear. I also... I'm crazy about my Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Styling Custard and Leave-In Styling Hair Yogurt. They look like, y'all, I can't tell you how many wash and goes I've done with this leave-in. And you see where it is, right? Like, the custard's almost gone. And the leave-in is right here. And I pretty much only use this with this. I absolutely love... <laughs> I love these two together. I get such beautiful wash and goes with this. This is one of those wash and goes where like every time I put this in my hair and I go to work, I have customers all day stopping me. I think they're asking me like for help with something and they just want to know what's in my hair. Like every time I have this in my hair, I have to give out the product information. Same thing with pomegranate and pear. I absolutely love these two together. So good. Moisturizing, softening. The plumpage is just everything i think this is the closest thing that she sent it makes to something in the realm of like a kinky curly or uncle funky's curly magic and it just it just hit it out of the park it's so good so i highly suggest that one as well and what i love about the curl perfection styling custard is that it does mix with a lot of different things it's one of the few things that they make that mixes with a lot of different products so you can really play with that one unlike the pomegranate pear oil and gel hair pudding but I always just go back to the original leave-in from that collection with the curl perfection styling custard because it's just so good and last but not least when she sent it Tahiti cocktail leave-in smoothie and custard I love these two together y'all know this is one of my favorite leave-ins and I am working on her too anytime I have a good dent in a leave-in I'm like damn finally 
because <laughs> I just don't use that much leave-in conditioner. Um, I absolutely love this. It's just such a soft, creamy, pillowy formulation. And underneath this, I can get hair longer than a week. Um, this makes my hair super shiny and defined. The times you guys have seen me use this, you have seen that in action. And literally, I can wear this for like 10 days straight and I don't have to do anything to my hair. It holds the moisture that I put in so well. And it's literally a humidity shield for my hair. So I love these two, particularly in the summertime. I'm going to be working on finishing this up still because it's time for it to go. I do have a brand new jar, but I won't be opening that jar until next summer. All right, we are working down to the last little bit. So let me talk about this one first. Even though I don't know where the leave-in conditioner is, I might have given it to my brother because I think he asked to try it. And I think I need to get that back from him because I love that leave-in. But this is the TGIN uh, Rosewater Curl Defining Styling Gel. And I love to use this with their leave-in from the Curls and Roses collection. Y'all. This is so good. <laughs> I bought two more of this because I am absolutely in love with this gel. I love the way that the products make my hair feel. This is definitely a lighter weight collection. I love the way Christia kind of went with creating new lines because she has like that medium, that really heavy, and then that lighter one. The Rose Water is the lighter of the three collections and I love it so much. It's so good. Um, I find this gel to be far superior than the original curl bomb. This with the leave-in conditioner gives me the most beautiful, just like wavy, but still big and fluffy defined hair. I love these two so much. I get great moisture. I get great shine. I just love the collection in general. So this paired with its companion leave-in is bomb. So happy that I discovered this. I mean, <clears throat> I just, it's so good. This in particular is so good, but the leave-in is amazing too. I love both of them together. Um, and sometimes I'll even pair this with the one from the, um, the moisture collection. And this works really well with that too. So that is another really amazing, just soft, just, I don't know, just hair be looking all schmexy and stuff. Like, it's just, it's just sexy. This is a combo that I haven't shared. But, um, if you guys want me to do a video, I'll do a video with this too. Because it's one that I do often, but for some reason I never show. So... This is definitely a hodgepodge brand. First, I like to lay down the Eden Body Works Coconut Shea Leave-In Conditioner. This is an awesome leave-in conditioner. It leaves the hair shiny and smooth and soft. It's so good. I like to go in on top of that with a small dollop of my Burdock Root Buttercream from Comet Biologics. I love Comet so much. This is a jar that they sent me. They have um, redone their packaging. So that's the texture. It's so creamy and light and it has a nice like citrusy scent to it. So I will use, if I can get the top back on, <laughs> I will use the two of these as my moisture foundation and go in with the Ren Pure Coconut Creme Curling Jelly. I have finally gotten down to my last use. I've been working on using this up too over the summer. I think I already told you guys that, that I was working on using this up, but um, I've been raving about this for years and it works with so many different things, right? But sometimes there are certain combos with your favorite products that just hit different. And this hits so different. The sheer moisture, I mean, it will make your hair shrink up because it's going to be so moisturized, but it's so good. It's not tacky. It's not gummy. It doesn't feel like your hair is about to fly off your head. Um, these three together give the perfect combination and I love the way that this dries with the other products because it's not flaky it's not like it doesn't leave like a great cast in the hair this dries so, so shiny on top of those other two products and the, the combo is just beautiful so this is another one that I feel like I should have shown you guys so if you want to see that one let me know I shared this combo with you guys recently while I was doing some testing and doing a review um of a brand that's newer to me and that is this combo of the Sultanicals Curl Blaze Hair Glaze with, can you tell me what it is? Eco Slay Jello Shot. Now you guys know this Jello Shot is a strong hold gel. It will clump your curls together very tightly, 
like she she thick she thick um and so for me it clumps my hair way too much you guys know my curls already naturally clump like the great thing about the kinky curly is that it gives you that kind of PC look and if you have hair that naturally kind of clumps together and tries to like form all around each other having products that do that is great um, but I also like products that clump my hair. I just have to be more vigilant about how I use them. And so I love to add this Curl Blaze Hair Glaze because it has really nice oils. The slip on this is beautiful and it goes ahead and it kind of separates the curls on its own. It gives lift, it gets body to the hair. And then when you put this on top, one, I had to use less of it because I already had such a slippery base on. So I had to use less of this product. It smooths through the hair on top of this like butter and it defines the curls but it doesn't overly clump them together and so I was able to get a super duper fluffy beautiful wash and go you go you guys know the two wash and goes that I did in that video where I reviewed this were like night and day one was super stuck together it was laid for the guys basically I was doing the wet look I was stuck in like 2018 <laughs> um with how my hair looked but it was still pretty and I got so many compliments but that's not the way I like my hair to be um especially just for the sake of not getting a ton of single strand knots um single strand knots are going to happen but the way that you care for your hair while it isn't a wash and go is what's going to make all the difference and so this combo is everything all right we are coming down to the end this is I guess not really new to me because the products aren't new to me, but putting them together is new to me. And that is a nice little nature's little secret combo. And I have been loving using my Irish Moss Styling Cream underneath my Flaxy Curly Custard. Now, I typically use this by itself. Um, this is great for one product wash and goes. Um, I also use this for Bantu Knots. I've used this for braid outs. This is a really great all-purpose styling cream. It's made with Irish Moss, so it already has its own holding agent in there. And you don't need a lot of it at all. But what I feel like a lot of people don't talk about, about is the sheer amount of moisture in this product. And so especially for this time of year, I love putting this underneath the Flaxseed Curly Custard. The Flaxseed Curly Custard is um, a really nice... Kind of like oatmeal cookie scented flaxseed gel i have tons of videos using this product on my channel i will link some in the cards um or in the description box below because most of these products have videos on them this is a super slippery flaxseed gel it dries with like a medium hold and so this with this is amazing because i get so much moisture from the cream a little bit of extra hold and then this comes in as a really beautiful finisher and it just makes my curls look so fluffy and like wavy, glossy, just shiny, sexy. Like it's just so good. This is super soft, moisturized wash and go realness right here. Um, and especially if you're someone who loves really botanical products, you can get a really beautiful, defined, soft wash and go that's going to be moisturized, especially for this time of year with these two products, with two botanical products. So I highly suggest trying that out because there's a lot of really good oils in that Irish Moss Styling Cream too. And so whenever I have that in my hair, my hair doesn't snag against my clothes and stuff the way it may do with something that isn't as oil heavy. So I absolutely love that combination. I know people say to use them apart, but I love using them together. I don't get flakes. It doesn't get tacky or gross, so I love that. Y'all know Unicurl is bae. Unicurl is my love. Unicurl is bae. And this Curl Fantasy Styling Gel paired with the Daily Moisturizing Leave-In Spray. Another deep wave, fresh out the pack of realness. Um, I was lucky enough to be one of the people to debut these Curl Fantasy products last year for Black Friday. Shout out to Alexis. That's my girl. I love Alexis Stanley so much. She is just one of the coolest people in this community. Um, and she, ever since I started reviewing Unicurl, she has been rocking with me just hardcore. And she has been one of the most supportive people in this space for me. And I just appreciate her. Like for me, it's deeper than the products. Like it, there is definitely 
a loyalty there just because of the people behind the brand. And when the people behind the brand are really good people, it really makes you want to support, right? And I love using these two together. This is very moisturizing for a leave-in spray. Now, I know a lot of people don't like leave-in sprays. Um, I really enjoy my leave-in sprays. It just depends on what I'm using on top of them. I love it with this Curl Fantasy Gel. Now, you can use this with the um, foreign one, but um, it's not going to have as much hold if you use it with the foreign one. So I like to pair this with this because it doesn't mess with the efficacy of the hold in this product and it works so well for me. Um, you guys saw in that video, my hair was gorgeous and it wasn't even completely dry. <laughs> I filmed that all in one day and it was so beautiful. So I absolutely love this. This is my last jar, I need to get more. I think I have another bottle of this. So I'm good on this one. Once I run out, I have a backup, but I do need to get another jar of this because I recently finished this one off. Y'all, it's just such a good combo and Unicurl is just a great brand. Let's talk about this one next. And that is some Camille Rose Realness. Um, I was introduced to this when I did my classic combos video, which I will link either in the cards or in the description box. Um, I've been using the Camille Rose Curl Maker for years with Marshmallow and Agave. This was the first product that I tried that really helped me see that I could achieve a wash and go. Um, this just did it for my curls. I love this stuff so much, but I had never used it with its own leave-in conditioner. And so I have recently been using this a lot with the Curl Love Moisture Milk. This is an OG combo. This is a classic combo and it's classic for a reason because it works. Um, you guys saw in that video that my hair looked beautiful. And prior to this, I was mostly using this with like Shea Moisture leave-in conditioners back when I was like a Shea Moisture nut. And I got beautiful wash and goes, but obviously I don't really use them anymore. And so this has so much moisture. It makes the curl so shiny and soft and defined. And this comes in and just hits it home with the definition. It seals everything in. I find Curl Maker to be <clears throat> a very moisturizing product. And so I pull my Camille Rose out as soon as it gets cold. Like as soon as I saw that it was gonna be 65 degrees the other day, I pulled this out um, because I was like, oh, it's fall, Camille Rose. So these two are very moisturizing. I tend not to use Camille Rose in the summer because um, of the way my hair plays with the environment when it's very humid and I live in a humid climate. Um, but this is bomb for moisture in the fall time. So I love these two together. It gives those perfect, just shiny, juicy results. And I just love it so much. Y'all already knew Uncle Funky was gonna be in this video, right? So I got my big ass bottle of Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator here. I use this often and you see, I have been using her a lot. Can you see where that line is? She's like right here. I just got this. <laughs> I've been using it a lot, which shows you that this is definitely one of my number one products. Um, I have two leave-in conditioners that I love to pair with this. The first one that I'll talk about is the Main Choice Accomplished Triple Layer Leave-In from the Do It For The Culture Collection. These mix beautifully and it gives me such a great wash and go. Moisturized, shiny, defined. I feel like I get a bit of a stronger hold too with these two together because this is a thick, creamy leave-in conditioner. It doesn't kind of melt down the way a lot of thick leave-ins do. These two together are a beautiful combo. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I have a video using these two together for a self-care Sunday. I did like a mix it up self-care Sunday and I think it was these two that I used because one of you guys suggested I use it with this and these two work so well together. So I'm definitely going to be pulling this back out for the fall and winter because this is so thick. I prefer to use it when it's cold outside because it really does a great job in the colder months. So these two are a bomb ass deep wave fresh out of the, back, out of the pack combo. But the ultimate one for me, y'all already know, Mish and Uncle Funkies. I have been standing this combo for over a year now, um, and I absolutely love it. The Lavish Leave-In is difficult to pair with other things. My hair loves it, but other products don't love it. But Uncle Funkies loves this. And I love this combo because I get that, again, deep wave, fresh out the pack look, but I get volume and I get bounce and I still get softness. My hair is still moisturized and shiny, 
and this lasts so long. This is another combo that I can have in my hair for days, you know? And I don't have to worry about what my hair is going to look like throughout the week. So I absolutely love this. This is like my top combo. Um, it's one that I go back to all the time. And I highly suggest it. Like I said, those of you who haven't tried that combo, you need to. All right, so that is it for my best deep wave fresh out of the pack combos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and suggesting it. I hope y'all are having a lovely day. I've got to go do some work around the house and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.